Welcome back to the channel. I've actually left my London studio flat and I'm currently in Bath with my best friend Hannah who you haven't seen in nine months and we're going to be exploring Bath and Bristol over the next three days. Now I've never actually been to Bath before so this is my first time and already I'm absolutely in love. But before we get too ahead of ourselves I want to first take you back to when we first arrived here from London Paddington. All packed and ready to go from London to Bath Spa. We hopped on the train and in less than an hour and a half we were at Bath Spa station. Throughout the train journey we had our masks on unless we were eating or drinking, kept socially distanced from other passengers and sanitised our hands before and after travelling. Just arrived in Bath and it's both our first times here. <laughs> I just wanted to showcase everything we get up to this weekend showing hidden gems, the best food to eat, the best things to do and to really discover the UK and discover more of being at home and just having a short UK breakaway. I've done a lot of international travel over the years but I've actually seen very, very little of the UK. So this is going to be as part of a wider campaign with Visit England called the Escape the Everyday campaign. And it's going to be basically 20 influencers that are swapping from all around the UK, around Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So I've moved from London to Bath and Bristol and I just want to show what there is to do in the local area and to have a really cosy autumnal and winter girly weekend. I just wanted to show how a trip can still be enjoyed safely and responsibly and you still have the best time ever so without further ado let's get started we checked into hotel indigo in bath a boutique hotel right in the heart of bath city center the rooms combine the 18th century georgian style with a contemporary twist and we couldn't have been happier with our stay we now are on the way to a three hour food tour around bath this is with a company called savoring bath so we're gonna save a bath i can't wait <laughs> literally i'm just there's so much i want to eat <laughs> welcome to savoring bath my name's Mike. We're going to visit up to about eight different artisan culinary businesses across the city. So I hope you've got empty bellies uh, and we're going to have our first tasting in here. Woo! The first spot we're going to is called Goulash and this is such a unique way of experiencing goulash I've never tried before. And it's actually served in a harata bun, which is a Japanese steamed bun. As soon as you bite into it, you've got the fluffy bun, lettuce and then suddenly you're hit with the paprika and it's so comforting, it's so warm, and it's so perfect for this kind of weather when it is getting slightly chilly in the UK, so you want something that kind of gives you a little hug and warmth in your belly. If you're a food, culture, and history lover, I can't recommend Mike from Savouring Bath enough. We stopped off at all of his local favourites and sampled the best food and drinks of what the city has to offer. A particular highlight was being able to meet with the business owners and directly experiencing the infectious passion and love they have for the craft, which only enhanced the whole experience even more. From specialty coffee to tasting tea sauce from all around the world, there are so many hidden city gems to discover in our own country. Hannah, which one are you going to try a sample of? Can I try the chocolate sorbetto, please? I'll go pistachio as well. Pistachio? Yeah, yeah pistachio, yeah. please. Thank you. I literally feel like I've just, in one bite, traveled to Italy, served gelato. This pistachio. So good. It's so good. So smooth. It's so rich. Powerful, isn't it? Mmm. Yeah, little goes a very, very long way. We also don't want to stop at the same time because it's so delicious. And it's just all natural sugars, water, and the chocolate, and that's it. Can we just take a short break to experience how beautiful Bath is? My jaw dropped at every corner. But anyway, back to eating. Emily from the Fudge Factory just told us that this is American style fudge. So you use cream, butter and milk to make it, which means it's a lot softer than English fudge, which is normally just milk and butter. And that explains why I like this fudge, because normally I'm not the biggest fan of fudge, but this one I'm like, this is so different to anything I've ever had before. It's really good. We ended our tour with Mike and it was time for us to unwind with some wine. We spent the next couple of hours catching up and soon it was time for dinner at Cappadocia, a friendly restaurant that focuses on cooking up innovative Turkish Mediterranean food. We enjoyed a hot meze platter and kebabs while scushing about what a wonderful first day we've had in Bath, but it doesn't end here. We are walking back from dinner and we've turned a corner and this is our view. Bath is just so beautiful it's so photogenic in every single corner and you literally turn around the corner and you're like <laughs> i need to get my camera out again and just stand here and just appreciate how beautiful look i just feel like it's such a treat like you know it's one of those things like why have i not explored england 
as much as I should have because you see views like this and like I feel so lucky to be here like I feel so grateful to be here and just see something as beautiful as this and it's so nice good morning everyone this is the next morning after the best night's sleep Hannah and I was just saying the bed feels like an actual cloud and it's so so cozy look at the cups <laughs> Uh, yeah, the bed was ridiculously comfortable. And we're gonna head over to the Roman Bars, which is only 10 minutes walk away. 15 yeah. if we're being slow, but 10 minutes. So yeah, let's go. Free audio guide, there's 12 different languages and it's currently operating on a one-way system. So we're going through the museum with our masks on, keeping one metre apart from everybody. And then once we're outside, we can take our mask off, but still observing social distancing. So let's go. I've wanted to visit the Roman Bar since I was a child. So being able to experience this was such a treat. The site has over 2,000 years of history and still features the original Roman pavement. A man went past us and was like, crouched down and looked through here and then you can see the hot springs and then suddenly you just see all of the steam and now Hannah and I really want to jump in. <laughs> the baths here are still operating, fully operating 2,000 years later and the reason why it's green is because of the algae because 2,000 years ago this used to be covered by a roof over the top and you have streams of sunlight pouring in so the water itself wasn't affected. The water itself is one and a half meters deep so it's a perfect depth for also swimming and this used to be such a special occasion for the Romans to come in and have a bath. Also they've got lots of other things to do as well like treatment rooms rooms, they've got places to exercise, a yard, and I'm just imagining it 2,000 years ago, this would have been such a spectacle and like such a beautiful sight in Britain, and the fact that it's still operating now 2,000 years later is magnificent. Finished with the Roman baths, which was so fascinating and so amazing, and also because of the reduced capacity and the timed entry, it means that everyone was socially distanced and it was all very, very safe. And now we are on the way to the circus and then the Royal Crescent before lunch. But first, Hannah's found a really cool homeware store called India Jane. And she said that basically everything inside made you feel like an explorer, and I'm all about that. I want more things for the studio, so. Face masks on and homeware shopping begins before we do more sites. We are now in the circus and it's just off of Gay Street and it is surrounded by grade one listed townhouses and there's three different entrances and apparently if we're standing in the middle, one, it's a beautiful view, but there's a certain point where when we say something, oh, did I say that? You can, you can hear yourself echoing back. I'm gonna walk around and join and be like, hello, hello, hello. hello. did you hear it? Oh, we're echoing! Hello! <laughs> Is it here? Can you hear me here? No. Here? Here? No. Oh, I really love bar! Let me stay! We wandered around the Royal Crescent and soon enough we worked up an appetite. So guess what time it is? You've got it, lunchtime. Hannah and I are now at the Scallop Shell uh, for some lunch and it's so beautiful in here and I'm not trying to be a diva with these sunglasses. <laughs> it's 12.30 so it's quite bright by the window on the booth. There's a range of different specials going on. We've got a bunch of stuff. So if you love seafood as much as I do, then I think you're gonna really like this place. It feels like such a treat to be here. We just keep wandering around just being like, I can't believe we're here and like it is so so beautiful but anyway i'll stop rattling on so i'll show you the food because i know that's what you're here for just spotted the scallop shell has won the independent fish and chip restaurant of the year award uk winner this was my favorite meal of the trip we went for rock oysters and mussels to start both of which were deliciously fresh and moorish then we enjoyed the restaurant's famous fish and chips and half a lobster for our mains With full tummies, we headed over to Bristol for the second part of our autumn city break, a short 11 minute train ride or a 39 minute car ride away. We checked into an artistic room at the Mercure Grand Hotel and headed straight out to enjoy the city. So we've actually got a Where the Wall um, Banksy Street Art Tour, but this is self-guided. So when I was last here, I actually did the tour with the guy and it was so good. He was so knowledgeable, knew everything. I think he actually knows Banksy himself and he took us all around the different spots around Bristol to see all of the best street art and explain the stories. But because of, you know, everything that's going on right now, they've actually adapted their tour so it's self-guided so you can have 24 hours to actually kickstart the tour and go at your, your own pace, your own leisure and also social distance from everything as well. So we've got 24 hours from when you first activate the code to actually go forth and do the tour. You do 
ready to bring your own headphones, that's it. Have a 3G or 4G connection so you know exactly where you're going. Hannah's never been here before, so we might just go around. Hannah's first time in Bristol. It is. What's I'm, your first impression? I love it. It's like, it's, the vibe's really different to Bath and I love it. Like, yeah, being from Brighton, it's a really similar atmosphere I feel to Brighton um, and I'm really excited to see more of it like loads of people have suggested it and they're like Bristol's really fun so like yeah I'm excited to see more. Oh Bristol it's good to be back there's an incredible atmosphere in the city and an exciting buzz in the air made up of a combination of art innovation and history I can't get enough. One thing I didn't realize is that Cary Grant was actually a Bristolian and he was born in Bristol but he was one of the biggest names in Hollywood and you actually can find a statue of him here, we're still gonna keep distance, but at the same time, if you wanna see him, he's by We're the Curious. And he's just here chilling, looking as handsome as ever. Seeing a view like this is how I escape the everyday. Definitely a memorable moment to remember the trip by. We've been enjoying Sunset and we're currently at Cargo with our shipping containers in Bristol and it kind of reminds me of Box Park in Shoreditch but we are in Wokie Co. This is a pan Asian restaurant that serves bao and beers and uh, we basically have a selection of different ones to choose from. We've got vegetarian ones, meat ones, seafood ones, so there's something for everyone and I think Hannah and I are going to choose four baos. I'm thinking aubergine, pork belly, green fried chicken and prawn or lamb, so basically Hannah doesn't have a choice, which I've already decided for us. And then size, a mixture of size of cream fried chicken, pickles and things. Um, but yeah, it's really, really chilled out here. We've got steam bugs everywhere. It's very, very chill vibe. The next morning came and it was time for our last day of a short UK breakaway. No! It's Sunday morning and we are now outside the Lido. Is it Lido or Lido? Anyway, it's a house inside a Georgian terrace and inside we've got the bar, a restaurant, also pool, spa, treatments. And we're going to go in and have breakfast because believe it or not, we're already hungry. So it's time to chow down. And sanitizer, rub hands until dry. It is breakfast time and I have some Turkish baked eggs with sweet tomato sauce, walnut butter and a flatbread and baked eggs. I love these baked eggs and especially because it's really, really chilly now. This is so nourishing, comforting, and just a perfect little bite for a Sunday morning. And also kombucha because I love kombucha. Okay, are we ready for the bread dunking shot? So we've got some flat bread and some baked eggs. Are you ready for this? I'll do a close up. Oh yeah. Need some smooth jazz music, hang on. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. So I've got pang kong tomato, so it's like sourdough bread with some tomatoes and garlic. Um, serrano ham and some manchego cheese. Yeah. I think it's manchego. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> also have some fruit bread with maple butter as well. We explored around Clifton out of brunch, a beautiful neighbourhood I didn't get to see last time I was here. This is well worth a walk around. Hannah and I are now at Bristol Zoo Gardens and there's over 12 acres of gardens. But we're gonna have a little wander around, but it's a one-way system as well and everything is socially distanced. We've got our masks on, especially in enclosed spaces and let's just see what we find. Bristol Zoo Gardens is also a conservation and education charity and messaging concerning sustainability practices and everyday behaviours to protect various species were consistently integrated throughout the visit. Welcome to the two o'clock Buckhouse shoot. Today we've got Hannah who is a big fan of ants to talk us through the ant working process. Hello, welcome to Ant World with Hannah. Um, so I love ants, they basically all work for a queen and then every ant has a job so like you have ants that keep lookout, you have ants that cut leaves, you have ants that like take the leaves back and forth and they all have a job and like here you can see it like they have a, a one way system down the rope and one system up the rope they're cutting up the leaves, picking them up and then going on their little system, the nest or the hut what would it be called? Coming. it's really cool, ants are amazing, their work ethic, work ethic is just Wow, inspiring. organization is so inspiring. inspiring. We are now in the Cottage Inn in Bristol and how it works is that you can now order everything via the app. I think today I'm going to go for King Prong Linguini with also a side of pop chips and curry sauce because why not? It's a Sunday. Uh, so we're going to go through and just find it but today is a Sunday menu so it's also a Sunday roast as well and Hannah wants to have the vegetarian roast, yeah? Yes please. And for £12.95 you pay at the table and good and actually come in hand sanitizers distanced. So let the Sunday lunch commence after a few hours of walking. <gasps> this is a really big chip, look. This is like the whole potato. Ooh. Anyway, chips and curry sauce. Double <laughs> chips and curry sauce. Mmm. 
Mm. Oof, there's nothing quite like a comforting Sunday lunch. We enjoyed our chips, pasta and Sunday roast, then went for a final walk around the harbour before heading back to London after an incredible weekend away. I hope this travel vlog inspired you to escape the everyday and to book yourself a short UK breakaway this autumn and winter. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.